I respect okay. cheaters. I respect, you respect cheaters. I, I definitely respect cheaters. I Why? Respect cheaters. Not 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 adulterers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why do you why do you respect why do y'all both respect cheaters? I need to know. Let's dive in. Deep dive. Um, I mean, I respect, I respect cheaters because a lot of times a cheater, it means that they will go to the highest measures to win. It kind of tells me something about like their 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 mentality. Like they they are gonna do whatever it takes to win at life. So I, I definitely respect it. I yeah, respect let me it. let me. Let me put it like this, man. There's there's levels of respect. There is respect, and then there's respect with a K. Okay. Right? Okay. Now, respect with a T is like the highest level. Mm. That's like highest yeah. level of respect, right? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. The one with a K mm. is like, okay, I halfway respect it, but it's not all the way. Mm. I respect K. K. She respect cheaters. I don't yeah, respect yeah, got you, got them. You. you feel me? You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That? Oh, There's yeah, some yeah. origin there. Like, I'm not about I'm to agree with you on that. That's, that was perfect. That was perfect. I, I, yeah. I 100% agree with you on that. See, but that when, when I look at that, insecurity jumps out at me. Mm. Like, mm. Why are you so afraid of losing? You know what I'm saying? Like, can you not wear that? Like, mm. like if you got to go to drastic measures just to win, Mm -hmm. That might not be so good after all. Like, what's underneath that? Mm. Like, mm. what's underneath that? Mm. All right, that's a good point. That's no, good you're right, man. You got me. You got me uh, ready to. Uh, I think I need to go read the Bible, man. Maybe, I've been, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I've been around cheaters too much in my life, man. Hey, hey, did I it, normalize cheating? <laughs> I feel you, bro. I feel but you can reverse it. You okay. can yeah, reverse. That's it. important. You can reverse it. You can say you don't care enough. That you're willing to just play by the rules. Because, come on, come on. Like, let's be real. Like, mm -hmm. sports is obvious when somebody's cheating. But, like, in all these other industries and stuff, they cheating, man. Like, you know, some, some people are, are are buying clicks, buying followers, buying things like, you know, companies are, are buying uh, people to get onto the radio. Like, mm -hmm. they're cheating going on, like, in more than just sports, my that's a that's a you know, hey Quincy, that's a great point. And and, and Jordan, you brought that up or well, you brought up at least something that I just thought ties into that, which is like people making their rounds. Would you consider that cheating as an artist? Like, I gotta go make my rounds, and that's how I qualify to be acknowledged, or or would you say that's like some extra credit that should not be measured? So therefore, it's probably more along the cheating route, uh cheating, you know, realm of things. I don't feel like making rounds is cheating. I think that's like this, like building relationships. I, what okay. I think is cheating in that realm is the whole industry plant thing. Now, if you got if you got talent, cool, right? Like people say the kid Leroy industry plant, right? He has like he's super talented. So I'm not mad at that. What I'm mad at is when the label like builds a story mm. and when it is they're lying to their fans and saying, like, yo. I'm in this, like a, like six nine or like whatever you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's what I, I feel like that's on the same realm as the Tom Brady shit, like cheating. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to me, I'm like, that's right. it's so normal that that what you're talking about, Jordan, is so normal mm -hmm. in like the music industry. Like yeah. I feel like a good chunk, more than you know, this is majority of people that's doing that kind of building the story. And even if they do got a story, they're exaggerating it a little bit. That definitely goes on, in my opinion. I know a few of them. I ain't going to mention them on the, on the, on the podcast. <laughs> they out there, bro. They out there. See, oh, man, I know you got the scoop on that. Wait, hold on. You saying you know you you you, you know confirmed industry plans? Is that what you're trying to say? Or, yeah. They out there. God. Yo, you know who they used to say was the in When I first heard that term, industry plan, you know the first person that I heard them trying to say, them as in the industry trying to say uh, it was? Ooh. Remember that Remember that artist named Rory? Mm -hmm. Hey, Q, you know who I'm talking about? Rory? Yeah, he used to roll with Jaden, I believe. Jaden Smith. Well, like, dude, I believe he was from Atlanta or something like that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Bro, they, I used to hear that all day, every day. And I actually started to believe it because I'm like, I never heard music from this man. Like that was super important. I never, I never saw a following. I never really saw traction. Yes, it seemed like he was talented, but like, where the hell did he come from? 
I think that I think the term gets like overused though. I want to yeah. say that it gets overused because you know people have their base before they blow up to the masses, right? Just because I wasn't privy and I didn't know about um, an artist before they blew up, that doesn't mean that their grind wasn't real. Like yeah. we gonna sit here and act, we gonna sit here and act like Nipsey Hussle. Like I, how much you want to bet there was people out there who thought Nipsey Hussle was an industry plan when, when he started when he came out of the blue and just started getting all this recognition. But real, but they don't actually realize he had this whole backstory. How he been grinding for years, and he little by little chipped at people's like willingness to listen to his music and stuff like that, right? Building a relationship, blah blah blah, all the stuff that you need to do behind the scenes. But like, yeah, that term gets overused for sure. Bro. It's, but I do believe it exists. Yeah, and, and I'm not mad. At, like the Rory situation, if that's how it happened. I'm not mad at that because bro is talented. It's really only when your life is a lie, like when you're saying mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. Coming from this, and you act like it's all organic, bro. It's not like you an industry plant. Just say that, like, just say that, just say mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. No, they're, no, they're not gonna wear it. Come on. Yeah, they're not gonna wear it. I agree. I mean, there's there's some people that like for instance, it's like Tiger. I believe Tiger was on a, a hip hop game show. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys heard about that, but like he was on a before he blew up, he was on some like game show. And where he was kind of like faking his lifestyle a little bit, and then he mm -hmm. came out and said, "Yeah, man, I did it because I wanted notoriety." Yeah, I was like, "That's kind of cheating." I don't know, Jordan, is that considered cheating to you? <laughs> like going on, like doing certain gimmicks like that, like going on game shows and like kind of portraying yourself with this certain persona. I mean. Low key, yeah, it gets deep, bro. I mean, Tiger's not acting like that now. I don't think. No, he's not. No, nah, Tiger, no. Tiger, Tiger, talking about like I, I did anything to try to get heard. Like, so he he acknowledges it, but he doesn't do it now. Like, nah. Yeah, it gets tricky. It gets really tricky. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. this so yeah, I, I, I can tell. I can tell. Jordan, he don't want to say too much. He, he just like, know they're out there, bro. He's a, he's like, yeah, I'm a chill man. I know too. Much. I can tell. You know, well. <laughs> Ooch, are you trying to say Macklemore bought his Grammy? Is that you? Just come out and say it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Macklemore, uh, Macklemore uses money. Hey, maybe. Yeah. Hey, I think it's possible. I think the it's label possible. is working. Yeah. When I you're sleeping, when you're sleeping, the label is working. Just yeah, know that. <laughs> Yo, you know who I you know who <laughs> give you the money? You know <laughs> who I give you the money? They'll say, you know what? How about we take you out to Roof Chris real quick? Mm. Eat what you want? Hey. We gonna, give, we, gonna, we gonna give you the tomahawk steak. Oh, you you never had you never had a tomahawk steak, have you? Nah, you never. But hey, you know what? Wait, waiter. Yeah, give him give him the tomahawk. Matter of fact, bring two out here. Yeah, he never had. Man, we gonna get him one to go after he finishes the one right in his face. You know what I'm now saying? let's convince you. Now let's convince you that Macklemore's album is better than you. <laughs> we're just talking. We're just talking. Hey, Brad, we're just talking. <laughs> now nah, you know what though? You know what though? I don't I don't know if this is true or not. I don't want to say he's actually an industry plant, but I do want to say there's some fishiness going on with this guy. Uh and I want to know your thoughts real quick before we get up out of here. Playboy Cardi. Like, what the fuck? Th 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 it, okay. Now we're I'm not privy to the information, Q. You're not, maybe Jordan, maybe you know a little bit, little bit more, maybe, but whatever. There's something going on. That is yeah. pushing. There's something going on behind the scenes that is pushing the imagery. That's pushing the 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 the, the image. It's pushing the every the, the, the There's something going on that does not feel organic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just calling it what it is. And it, and, it, and it goes from everything from the 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 merch that he released with it with it, with his project, the whole lot of red. Um, it goes to how. The dude seems to have the keys to the internet. It's like, why does everything just seem to make sense with him? Like, he pops up out of nowhere, takes a break for one month, comes out, two million likes on the video, uh, like, drops the album that was long awaited, that supposedly everybody wanted. Man, I think it sold like 200,000 first week. Like, by those standards, he would be considered a big artist, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if we going off of numbers, should it like we were talking about with NBA Young Boy? Should we not give Playboy Cardi the respect, or is his music not really impacting the culture enough for us to really hold him in that high regard? Like, I, I don't want to say he's an industry plant, but I'm saying there's some fishing is going on. That's how I feel. Let me start by saying that I love Playboy Cardi. 
Uh-oh. I love Playboy Cardi. You know Uh-oh. 2020, he wrapped it up perfectly for me. I love that album. You know what I'm saying? Was um, it a classic? Was it a classic? Like everybody's saying? Classic. Playboy classic. Cardi fans? Classic. <laughs> but I, I'm, a, I'm a biased Cardi fan, so I'm never going to be able to be like, honest for a friend. I'll admit All that. Right. But, um, but I said about Cardi, I feel like it's actually the opposite of what you're saying. I think mm. that the label lets Cardi do him completely, like more so than any other artist. I think when Cardi wants to drop, Cardi can drop. I think whenever Cardi wants to do something, they let Cardi do it because the numbers are all there. You know what I'm saying? And I think Cardi's like a very special kind of artist because he built a cult fan base, kind of like um X before he passed away. You know what I'm saying? And I think we like our artists to be, we like our artists to be in the cut. You know what I'm saying? Like nowadays with artists, you got to be all over social media. You got to do all these different things. So we see you a lot. When we don't see Cardi for like a whole year and Cardi's not talking, Cardi's not speaking, I feel like that builds up the anticipation. Like, yo, we need this. We need this project. You know what I'm saying? And so I think that's the reason why Cardi can come out and do anything he wants to. And that shit's going to shoot up. Just because we haven't heard from him at all. Hmm. He's a mysterious, he, he's a mysterious uh, artist. Yeah. We like mystery. Like we 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 love artists that are just like hard to figure out, hard to guess. And yeah. I think he started playing around with that. Like yeah. right before his album came out, he started playing around with, oh, I'm about to drop my album. Never mind. I'm about to drop it. Yeah, here we yeah. go. <laughs> right, right. right. That, but that's that, how it used to be. That that's how it used to be. Like mm-hmm. um, everybody looks yeah. at like album sales from years ago, right? And like before, like we went to like streaming services like Apple Music and Spotify. You know, album sales are just crazy high when people had to go get physicals and stuff like that. Yep. But even back then, they'll do like what one press run, and then they'll wait a whole year before they drop something else. Mm-hmm. You know, that's such a like an influx of music now. There's so much music being dropped now on a daily basis. Where I feel like that's why there's a decrease in you know album sales. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And so I feel like Cardi is just playing into that kind of like where you'll see him once a year. You know, mm-hmm. and then he goes away. Mm-hmm. Damn, you know what? Yo, you just convinced me not to like his music more. Because I mean, I, I <laughs> but 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 more about like his strategy and how he's going about it. That's a good point. You know, I didn't I didn't think about it like I didn't think about it that way. Like he kind of is a throwback artist in a, in a way, and like how they rolled out music and how they went away. Like you're right. We have too much access to artists, right? With yeah, social media. Yeah. We have too much access. And it wasn't like that before. Right. So he's kind of just taking a throwback model. I can see that. Right. I can see that. He's also doing certain things that's like for shock value. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like, you know, some of the outfits that I've seen him wear, like, I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is different. Like, you know, some of the pictures he's taken. There was there was there was a picture where he was like, I look like a bad chick. Did you guys see that picture? Where yeah, yeah. I yeah. was like working or something like that. I was like, yeah. okay, I get it. If that's what you want to do, but like I don't understand the purpose of this. Like there has to be right. deep meaning. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I actually respect Cardi's grind. I, I'm with you, Uch. I don't his music necessarily don't click with me, mm-hmm. but like I understand why somebody would be infatuated with playing. For sure. You know Rockstar what I'm saying? Shit. Rockstar shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rockstar yeah. shit. Like, and actually, you know what? Bro, he I wouldn't even call him a rock star. He's more of a punk star. Remember, like back in the day, where like when I say back in the day, I don't mean that long ago. I mean like when punk music was like mainstream. Um you talking 1970? Slipknot. Uh, I'm talking, yeah, like slipknot. <laughs> but like even, but even more recent, like uh I would consider Good Charlotte punk. Like they they were kind of mainstream, but like they were a little bit more on the punk side. Like, alternative. I feel like Playboy Cardi, especially on that that latest album, a whole lot of red. He was he had a lot of punk production, you know, yeah. big meets rap. It was different from what yeah. I've heard before from a production standpoint. So I'm gonna give him a lot of credit in yeah. that realm for real. I think he can just do whatever he wants. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I think as long as the numbers are there, the label is gonna let him do what he wants because it works. You know, like even let's take it back to um 2020. When Uzi dropped EA, right? Mm-hmm. Uzi had been gone for mad long. He hadn't dropped no music. Like three years. 
or something. Uh, two, two, three years. Yeah. EA dropped out. I can't remember how much it did. I think it was in the threes, but it was, it was, something, it was something crazy. It did a lot. Now you see, you see Uzi everywhere now. You see him tweeting every day now. If Uzi was to drop an album next week, it would not do what EA did. But that's because mm -hmm. he was gone. He was away. Mm -hmm. So I think back to the Cardi point. I think you can just do that. Like when people mm -hmm. don't see you that much, the anticipation just builds OD. Yeah. But you, let me ask you this though. Let me ask you guys this. Like when Playboy Cardi was trying to release his album, he was talking about the label won't let me release it. You know what I'm saying? Like same thing with Uzi. Uzi kept saying like the label won't let me, you know, release it. It's 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 they won't let me free essentially. And he was coming out with like free Uzi and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. like, do you think that that was actually just like a publicity stunt? Like they would let him release it, but he didn't want to. Or is it like, was it legit? His label was holding him hostage. Um, I don't, I don't really remember that with Cardi. I remember that with Uzi. And I, I do know with Uzi situation with the uh, generation now and like DJ drama and um, Don Cannon, all of them, I know they were having issues and, um, I remember Rock Nation came in and saved Uzi. Oh, yeah. I don't know the specifics about that, but Rock Nation, bro, they saved oh, Meg too. Like they right? saved everybody. Yeah, Meg Stallion currently, I believe. Twenty One Savage. Yeah, they got they got him out of whatever that was with the with the whole London shit. Yo, remember that Rock Nation the Illuminati, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you might be, you might be on to something, man. You might be. Yeah. On to Hey, didn't their CEO get pardoned by Trump? The, lady, the, the CEO no. of Rock Nation got pardoned by Trump. This was just happened like two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. That's Something a like fact. That. That's a fact. That's crazy. Yeah, I think that's her name was uh, De Desiree Perez. I saw the story and I was yeah. like... That's who 6 9 was talking about, right? That's exactly the shit that 6 9 was talking about. Like, yeah, yeah. She mm -hmm. was like a confidential informant. And, and, and back in the day, busted like a whole bunch, this whole cocaine drug ring, yada, yada, yada. Mm. She, I don't think she was in jail because she cooperated, right? But she got pardoned. I think they removed the records from her. I'm sorry, removed the charges and all that stuff from her record. So, mm. bro, they might be Illuminati. They might be. They <laughs> might be. Man. You on to something.